Today, I wanna to help you avoid the number one mistake I see DIYers do when they're jumping into electrical. The mistake comes from when you need to connect stranded wire to solid core wire. This is extremely common in light fixtures, such as vanity lights, ceiling lights. I have one right here, which is an LED recessed wafer light. So here's the example of a common failure. The wire nut is connected. I don't have any exposed copper. It feels pretty tight, but then many people forget to do a pull test. So if I pull, I can already see that the wire's coming out and I had a very weak connection. Now the wire nut's still connected on, but that's because it was biting into the solid. And then the stranded was just getting wrapped around the solid core, but really with a very loose connection. This is a classic failure point and something that can be avoided with a simple technique. Then the correct approach is pretty simple and this is gonna ensure you get a nice strong connection between the stranded and solid. So the wire nut actually just bit onto the top part of the solid and the stranded just got wound loosely around the solid core. That is not what you want. You want to actually do the opposite. You want to lead with the stranded. Often when you have solid core wire, many professionals will pre-twist. They'll pre-twist the wires together prior to putting the wire nut on. Even though the wire nut manufacturers usually call out to not pre-twist and to let the wire nut or a wing nut like this do the work. All right, so now once we have that fully on, we can look down inside you can see the stranded is much higher up and is biting into that wire nut. So that same pull test is not going to pull the wire out like it did last time. So you can kind of yank on these all you want and it's just not gonna happen. 